The heart of a sophisticated music system is the integrated amplifier. The passive speakers are connected to it and supplied with power. On the model, it also has a suitable selection of inputs from phono to USB. Hi, and welcome to our channel. Now we come to the overall rating, 4.6 out of 5 stars, with the Yamaha AS201. At the time of the test, the price was around $200. 2 times 100 watts into 8 ohms. The AS201 doesn't lack power, despite moderate conditions. Thus, the stereo amplifier fires each channel with an output power of 100 watts into 8 ohms and 140 watts into 4 ohms. Pure direct circuit. According to the manufacturer, the dynamic output power, meaning the power that can be provided for a short time, is 125 watts into 8 ohms or 165 watts into 4 ohms. Of course, power isn't everything. Short signal paths and optimized circuitry promise a sound that is amazingly close to the original. To avoid interference and improve signal-to-noise ratio, Yamaha has grounded the signal processing and power supply at the same place, especially in the peer direct mode. You get closer to the ideal of unadulterated playback because here the initial circuits for sound optimization, example, bass, treble, and balance, are bypassed which further shortens the signal path. The company has installed the appropriate switch just to the left of the volume control and additionally on the remote control. The aluminum front is also equipped with buttons for standby, signal source, treble, bass, speaker pair, A slash B, an LCD display, and a headphone jack, 6.3 millimeters. You will search in vain for a balance control. Here it is worth reaching for the remote control which can also be used to adjust the brightness of the display and other functions. For example, you can set a time after which the device automatically switches to standby mode or stops working completely. Whereas only 0.5 watts of power are used in standby, you can choose between 2, 4, 8 or 12 hours. On the connection side, Yamaha throws 5 analog audio inputs, an audio output, and of course screw connections for 4 speakers into the scale. The audio input on the far left is suitable for turntables with MM cartridges. 200 US dollars is a fair price. At least that's what a look at the data sheet suggests. Thanks to the elegant aluminum front, the device doesn't have to hide visually either. One can be curious. Our conclusion? Of course, each product has its own strengths and weaknesses. So everyone should decide for themselves what suits you and of course your wallet best. We have linked all the products in the video description for even more details. Have you already decided? Or maybe you have one of these products at home. Then we would be happy if you let us know which device you prefer and above all why. I hope that I could help you little deciding on your purchase. If so, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. That would really help us and the channel. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. Goodbye.